panel and you are all here, so I'm not going to repeat the, all the summary of the panel because you already knew that. But what I say is, yeah, this is the very beginning of the uh, uh, long journey we might, in, you know, have. Uh, you know, we have this uh, uh, mandala things and uh, 25 goals, but we're going to pick some of them. You know, we're still in the process of uh, finalizing it, so we might have, uh, uh, you know, major reshuffle or redirections, you know, listening to the, all the com comments and today, you know, all the public engagements, we're going to have a multi-stage, multi-stakeholder engagement in this. So like a moonshot, what I think is that this could be the great opportunity for us to make a big paradigm shift in the way we do research in Japan. You know, a lot of good systems here, obviously, but at the same time, there are something we can try out. I mean, this itself could be the moonshot. Can we actually do, create really brave, open, highly diverse, global research program? Japan could actually lead the way. And this is a great opportunity for us to be able to do that because we have interesting opportunity. Aging society, Japan is leading the pack. You know, China, Korea, many countries in the Southeast Asia is now picking out. You know, their aging society might progress, will progress for sure, it's a statistics, we know that, well, much faster than we do. You know, so whatever we experience, whatever we develop will benefit people in other countries as well. It's gonna be the global issue in the coming years. So, you know, we can contribute society in the globally because we are the front runner of the problem. And also, you know, environmental issues, we are suffering. We had a little typhoon and all that as well, and then we can see the earthquake, and, you know, it's not really the kind of climate change, but like, you know, we are, you know, the country suffered from the, all the natural, you know, climate you know, shift in the natural conditions, disasters, all that. We are fighting against the nature. You know, but we are harmonious with the nature. At the same time, you know, nature could be our threat. So how we're gonna deal with that is a big issue. And we got some way to control, manage, or harmonize it. It would be a great opportunity. And we can pass that technology to other countries, or probably this is the issue we really need global network to move forward. It's not just Japan, I mean, it doesn't really make sense like a Japan, Japan is the only player to do this. You know, this is a global issue. So this is really a great opportunity for us. And our science, we should be able to contribute. We have really interesting technologies, interesting opportunities here. And if we can have a series of scientific projects which can transform some of the scientific area with the technology and the global network, that would be great. That will enable people to discover something disruptive, something great in the future. We can lay out the foundation with the program. And I think it's interesting because of the funding, which is like a one billion US dollars in the next five years, it's not necessarily the huge one, you know, compared with the desire we have. And it's an idea of using this as a seed fund to see how this is gonna go. And if, if some of the success, we're gonna focus on that, get the you know, private money, get another government funding to reshaping it. This is experiment by itself, but we have to do the proper experiment so we can actually uh, pave the future. You know, I think this is a great opportunity for us, and then I would like to, uh, you know, we're very glad to be the part of this, and I would like to thank you very much for everyone coming over here. And I think we have a closing address, someone. So uh, I'll stop here. Thank you very much. <laughs>